Hi everyone! Exciting news! By the time this video goes live, I will be fully vaccinated! <laughs> Take that, Covid! At the time of filming this, this weekend there have been protests and demonstrations in London. There have been anti-vaxxers and anti-lockdown people just, you know, all getting together to be dreadful, awful humans in one space. I have no time for anti-vaxxers, I have no time for anti-lockdown protesters because all of their arguments can be undone exceptionally easily. Also, I know people who work for the NHS and who have worked their backsides off during this pandemic and then seeing these people all like crushed in together, no masks, breathing in each other's germs, it makes them feel like they've had a gut punch and I can't bear that. These people are the ones who are going to save your life if you end up in hospital with Covid because you've refused to have your vaccine, so you know, give them a little bit of respect. I just have no time for them, you know, and if somebody comes up to me and says, well, I'm not having my COVID vaccine actually because it's not medically sound, I shall just point out that every vaccine that's ever gone out there into the world has been medically tested thoroughly. It's not allowed to just go in your arm if it hasn't been tested. And then they get onto the truly ridiculous arguments, you know, like, oh, actually, if you have the vaccine, it's just going to put a chip in your arm so the government can track you. Great. <laughs> Let them see how incredibly dull my life is and I will bore them all to death. Or my personal favourite. The vaccine is something to do with 5G and like, you know, that's really bad. So don't have the vaccine because you'll just have like 5G. That sounds like it could have benefits. I just cannot get any signal. This is so frustrating. Allow me. <laughs> And yes, I do know there are people who have genuine concerns about the safety of the vaccine because of the blood clots. And I will just tell them, do you have any idea how much more common a blood clot is as a reaction to the birth control pill? But millions and millions and millions of women take that every single day safely. There are always risks with everything, but something like this, where this is pretty much the only hope for getting out of this pandemic, I'm all for it. I literally cannot wait to have that needle in my arm. That said, I won't be changing my behaviour massively even after I've had my second jab. I can't believe I am now fully vaccinated. I can't wait to lick a lamppost. And then I'm gonna burn on my face mask! <laughs> I'm more than aware that even though I hopefully will be safe and protected and I won't get seriously ill if I was to contract Covid from someone, I'm still potentially going to be a carrier of it to someone who hasn't been fully vaccinated. So I will still be washing my hands regularly, I will still be keeping a two metre distance from people and yes, I will still be wearing my face mask because I'm not an idiot. There are plenty of people I care about who haven't even had their first jab or have just had one and not the second. So I'm still going to limit my behaviour because I don't want to put those people at risk. For example, extremely importantly, Leslie hasn't had either of her jabs and I now can go over to the office and we can work together in close proximity. So I am not going to put her at risk at all by just, you know, having my second jab and then just popping down to the pub or going into really crowded supermarkets and leaning over strangers because whilst I might not get sick, she could and I'm not going to put her at risk. Now I'm not saying that everybody who has gone to a pub or gone to eat out or anything like that is doing it because they don't care about anyone, I'm just saying for me, I'm not going to put myself in a position where I could pick something up and transport it to them and just be like, oh, well, I'm all right. I'm vaccinated. Sorry. This does, however, 
represent the start of little tiny baby steps back to normality. Leslie and I have talked about the fact that when she has had both of her vaccinations, we can't wait to go and have dinner out somewhere or go on holiday, have a weekend away together, not necessarily abroad. I don't think I will be going abroad for quite some time. Thank you very much. But, you know, we might just go up country somewhere and have a weekend away together and that would be amazing. I'm so excited about the idea of this bringing me back a little bit of normality because it has been a really weird year where I have mostly seen these four walls. I guess I should insert some actual trip out to have the vaccination footage here, right? I am in the car, mum is driving, I am not filming whilst driving. Also I'm on the wrong side in the UK, so you know, but I am off to get the needle stuck in my arm, hooray! I'm actually genuinely excited, is that sad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> babies Woohoo! so there we have it I am now fully vaccinated currently feeling fine so yay but then I literally just had it so. <laughs> but yay get your jab everybody watching this don't be a fool <laughs> and I'll see you in a minute so there we have it by the time this goes live I will have superpowers or at least, you know, hopefully be much more protected from COVID. I hope that if you're watching this, you are staying safe and sensible. And if you've had your jabs, yay, let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you can click on my floaty head if you'd like to subscribe. Last week's video is over there. I am off to celebrate my excellent Wi-Fi signal. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye.